Can you give give us a definition of God and soul? Certainly. God is an entity who created you and the universe, and God is the great oversoul of the universe. God is actually someone who you personally can connect to with your soul. And what God did was he created your soul, and your soul is dual in nature in that it splits into halves. In other words, it has a masculine half that splits off and, and usually a feminine half, not always. But the way that a split occurs is, is I've described in some other material, which you can listen to. And the split occurs and it splits into two forms, male form generally with two bodies and a female form with two bodies. The bodies being physical and the spiritual bodies. So one half of the soul with the body, two bodies, and the other half of the soul. The soul, the combined soul, is the real you. So you right at the moment are just one half of a soul and eventually you will meet your soul mate if you haven't done already and, it, and your entire progression in the future up until the 22nd dimension of the spirit world is about you coming to union with your soul mate. And once you get to that state of union, which is way, way above the sixth sphere, on the divine love path. The divine love path is the only way to obtain union. The reason why it's the only way is because scientifically your soul needs to change in order for it to become completely unified. It needs to get out of this intellect-dominated condition that man has established that is actually self-reliant and into a soul-based feeling dominance that we need to develop and grow. And as we do that, we'll draw our soulmate to us. We'll also progress towards God automatically as we do that, as long as we have the desire for God's love to enter us. And God's love enters us and changes. So as we're progressing on this divine love path, which is infinitely progressive, what's happening is we're learning the same things that these men had to learn. Can you see that? We're learning the same lessons that these men had to learn on this natural love path until we go beyond the seventh sphere or the sixth sphere. And from then on we're learning a whole set of different lessons. That everyone who is intellectually dominant and doesn't want to focus on their soul cannot learn until they become emotional focused. And once they become emotional focused, they then can learn this material from God the same way as these intellectual people learnt the material intellectually but using your soul or using your emotions instead of your intellect to learn. And it's a totally different way of learning. The best way I could describe to you is like this. You, you know sportsmen who play different sports. They're honed to perfection in their sport, right? And a lot of times what they do is they practice and practice and practice and they practice so much that after a while everything just becomes... They, they enter, all of them say they enter this zone where they're no longer even thinking about what they're doing anymore. They're just in this zone where everything starts happening automatically. And this is the zone that God actually created us for, for us to live in all the time. This place where everything actually happens automatically, not something that we have to learn and practice and practice and practice and practice until we come to know it. And, and it's only by, do, by progressing on the divine love path that you can actually get to the point where the soul is developed into everything happening automatically. So when you ask me a question, I don't have a thought about it at all. The stuff that comes out of me, the reason why it comes out of me straight away, and I don't have to think about it, is because I'm feeling about it. And the feelings automatically are there as soon as you ask your question. And all I need to do is now say the words that my feelings are generating. Does that make sense? So it's a totally different way of interacting with people even. And so as you progress, you will go beyond this part where man can go. So, so your original question was about duality. Are we creating duality? No, what I'm, create, what I'm saying is the truth, and that is that man has created all these ways that they thinker to God but they all stopped because they were all developed by man's intellect. But God created this other way, which actually is inherently and built in every one of us as a child, that we all detune from from a very young age, this other way to connect to God. 
that is infinite in its progression and that once we understand its principles, we can follow permanently all of the rest of our existence and we will progress beyond this point. And once we progress beyond that point, we will look back at that point and see that even the progression on this path wasn't duality. It was all just leading us to this point of making a choice between whether we are God-reliant or whether we're going to remain self-reliant. And that's really the choice in the end. So the natural love path is all about self-reliance. And there are beautiful lessons you have to learn in self-reliance. But the divine love path incorporates all those lessons and in addition to that teaches you God-reliance, complete God-reliance. Does that sort of help? You can ask more questions. <laughs>